and I'm not done because I'm not going to stand for this. My kid did nothing wrong. He tried to defend himself against kids who were trying to take his homework. He served his punishment by accepting the suspension. This is ridiculous and it's not going to happen. I will fight it every step of the way, all the way to, to Bismarck, to the Capitol if I have to. I reached out to a Fargo woman, reached out to our whistleblower hotline because she says her son is being charged with a crime for defending himself at Fargo North High School. La, uh, Larissa Patterson says she received a letter yesterday saying her son is going to juvenile court and is charged with disorderly conduct. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley talked with this mother who's calling for a policy change so no other bullying victims are punished. They took his homework. He tried to take it back. One of the kids pushed him. Jalen pushed him back. The other kid jumped in and started beating my son up. A classroom fight in August landed Patterson's son Jalen in the principal's office with a four-day suspension. The first thing that the principal said when he walked in the door is, first of all, I want you to know that Jalen did nothing wrong. Then here's the but. According to school policy, he was involved in this altercation and we have to suspend him. But that was the last time Patterson says she's heard from anyone at Fargo North. Not a word. We haven't received any letters in the mail, any paperwork, any anything. Okay, this was done, this was done, we need to talk about this, nothing. Thinking it was all over until yesterday. We get this letter in the mail saying that my son, the victim here, is being charged with disorderly conduct. Causing Jalen to go into a panic, not wanting to step foot back in his school. Well, he's scared to death now because he thinks he's going to go to jail. Patterson says an attached pamphlet makes Jalen out to be a criminal, talking about putting him in accountability workshops. It's not like he's the one that started this. If he did, then yeah, we'd be going to see the judge and we'd be talking about some severe punishment because I didn't raise my kids that way. Fargo police say their incident report lists the charge as a disturbance of a public school. However, Jalen's letter from Lutheran Social Services states otherwise, and I asked Fargo Public Schools for a comment on why that would be, but they didn't want to talk. This is too much. This is over the top. Like, this is ridiculous. My son didn't do anything wrong. Patterson says she's furious and confused, adding that she's going to fight until she gets answers. I get it. He was involved in it. The suspension is what it is. We accepted that, but I don't accept this. You're not going to charge my son with disorderly conduct when he's the victim here. In Fargo, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. We also asked why Lutheran Social Services got involved in the matter but couldn't get any answers. LSS declined to comment on the incident. North Dakota Hockey opens the regular season this weekend with an annual home and home with Bemidji State. But two very important people are missing this time around. Beth has the details later in sports. And flu season is here, prompting some moms to put decorative ornaments on their strollers. What they're trying to accomplish next. My wife and I are third generation farmers. My son will be the fourth generation on the same farm. This trade war cooked up by Kevin Kramer and his friends in Washington, D.C. may end that. It's hitting us really hard. And all Kevin Kramer can say is we need a higher pain threshold. Congressman Kramer has done absolutely nothing to stop this trade war. He just follows the politicians in Washington, D.C. Kevin Kramer doesn't have a clue what it's like for farmers out here. DSCC is responsible for the content of this ad. This October, Corwin Toyota is proud to announce 0% financing for 60 months on new 2018 Toyota RAV4s. That's right. Drive off in the new 2018 Toyota RAV4 with 0% financing for up to 60 months this October at Corwin Toyota. Corwin Toyota has over 90 RAV4s in stock, but with 0% financing for 60 months, they won't last long. Corwin Toyota, family driven for over 100 years. Shop online, CorwinToyota.com. If your heating system is more than 15 years old, that old furnace may be draining your bank account. At Precision, our signature heating systems will improve your efficiency and come with a 10-year parts and labor warranty. That means if anything goes wrong with your heating system, it costs you nothing. We believe in it so much, we put our name on it. Now for a limited time, get 0% financing for well-qualified buyers. He loves this state, loves the people. And we need Kevin Kramer to replace 
liberal Democrat Heidi Heitkamp in the Senate. Heidi says she's with North Dakota, but voted with Obama 88%. And Heidi wanted Hillary Clinton for president. You need a senator who doesn't just talk like they're from North Dakota, but votes like they're from North Dakota. That's what you need. And that is Kevin Kramer. I'm Kevin Kramer, and I approve this message. We are nearly in that dreaded time of year again, and we're not talking about today's snow. It is the flu season, and that's why some moms are putting these decorative but informative ornaments on their strollers and car seats. They say, please don't touch the baby, and they're aimed specifically at the flu. And one mother tells us since babies can't get a flu vaccine until they're six months old, it's up to grown-ups to make sure they don't spread it. Sales for these signs are through the roof. You'll find them online through retailers like Amazon and Etsy. Just in time for hockey season, the snow arrived. Yeah, and look Vice at versa. that. How about yeah. it? We're going to take a look at some of the guys who are going to be missing from this huge matchup that the UND Fighting Hawks have coming up. That's next.